here to restore her faith in the Empire, in being Klingon. Matriarch Ja'ula is going to the monastery on Boaz. Long ago, her brother Tukuvma was a monk. And it is on Boreth where he began his journey on the path to greatness. Ja'ula hopes to do the same, that she can follow in his footsteps and save the Empire before Jumpok destroys it. Something you need? Your arrival is timely. Several ships from rival Klingon houses are fighting to control this system, despite its long standing as neutral ground within the Empire. I will not see this secret place brought onto the heel of any house, great or small. This is a petty squabble between packs of rabid targs. Nothing more. Let them growl and gnash their teeth. There are more important matters waiting to be resolved. We should ignore them and proceed to the monastery, my lady. No, I will not abide this. I will show them the error of their ways, and give them the chance to leave this place with honor. Should they refuse, I will meet them in battle. Perhaps your words will reach these curs, Jula, but I'll keep my weapons ready. As will I. This Bakhtag only speaks the language of battle. Yes, but that is a language we all speak very well, if necessary. Klingon vessels. This is Matriarch Jaula of House Mokai. You dishonor yourselves and your houses by fighting at this sacred place. In the name of Kalis, I ask you now to stand down and leave the system. Remember who you are. So, the great Jaula comes to Boren. I am surprised you have the nerve to show your face, woman. And you travel with Martok. He carries the sword of Kalis. A true Klingon warrior could seize the throne of the Emperor with such a weapon. No, I will not stand down. But I will give you and that old fool a warrior's death. Bold words. If you think you can take the sword from this old fool, by all means, try. I will finish what Jumpak does. I end my my alone. The hard go. This pack is particularly deep and mighty. We've shown them the error of their ways. I'm sure they'll regale their ancestors with this precious knowledge once they arrive in Stomagor. Now, let's get on with it and do what we came here to do. For once, I find myself in agreement with Martok, my lady. We have wasted enough time. We should go to the monastery now. Very well. We shall proceed. 
before we find ourselves having to deal with more dishonorable Bachtak. We should be cautious. Jim Bok may seek to curry favor with the monks as well. Indeed, their words hold weight for many throughout the Empire. It is time. Martok, Adetpa, I shall meet you on the surface. When we reached out to the monks, their instructions were quite clear. Only Adetpa, Martok, and myself will be allowed to enter the monastery on this day. I would ask you to remain on Overwatch here. We cannot afford to be disturbed in the monastery. Should more of these fools arrive, I'd like you to explain our need for privacy to them, with weapons, if necessary. And if it is Jempak who comes to disrupt things, feel free to begin with weapons. Once more, seekers come to Borath. Will they find what they seek? Time will tell. My brother walked these halls. May I find a path forward here, as he once did. A path to save the Empire. We must be cautious. If the monks are loyal to Jumbok... They are not. We're still breathing. If these halls were the home of traitors, we'd be on our way to Stovacor by now. Matriarch Jaula, General Martok, Captain Adetpa, come forth. We have many things to discuss. Let's see what the monk has to say. You know our names, Timekeeper. What is yours? I am Tenavik, son of Vork. My grandmother was of House Morkai, and my mother served your noble brother with honor, as you well know. But once I was a son of none, like my father before me, and the child you lost. That is a secret I buried with my child. How do you know of it? House Morkai. He's not the only holder of secrets, Matriarch. Now, if you are here to seek sanctuary from your enemies, I cannot grant it. That is not why I am here. I seek the wisdom of the ages, like Takuvma before me. I have spoken to many here with fire in their eyes. The same fire I now see in yours. They enter with conviction, always. They leave broken, always. Under other circumstances, we could speak of such things for days. Unlike you, time is a luxury we do not have. So I shall be blunt. Will you help us or not? If you stand prepared to pay the cost for what you seek, I will assist you in finding it. Follow me. Come.
continue through these doors. Our path lies beyond these doors. You are unfit to carry the sword of Kalos, Martok! You dishonor yourself for this. You will suffer. arrived. <laughs> Your enemies are a bold and desperate lot to violate the sanctity of this place. Perhaps their deaths will be a warning to any other fools who would dishonor themselves so. <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned, is that there's no shortage of fools willing to fight in a burning house. Indeed. Thus we shall be made vigilant. When you are ready, you can conduct the ritual and seek the guidance you desire, Jaula. The others, Tanavik. What is happening? Patience, Mitriarch. What you seek will be revealed in time. It. It is not possible. And yet. You stand before me now. Kalis, the unforgettable. Kalis. The Unforgettable! And you are Ja'ula, Matriarch of House Mokai. Long has it been since your bloodkin came to this chamber, seeking the wisdom of great rulers long dead. And now it is your turn, it seems. Speak! What would you ask of me? The Empire is shattered, and a mad tyrant sits upon your throne. How can I repair the damage done? and restore what has been lost. So much like your brother, he too sought unity. He thought he could find it through diplomacy at first, but in the end, well, you were there. You know of his solution, and the price he paid for it. If I am to guide you, I must know your heart. To begin, I will test you against the great evil from our distant past. Fight with honor! You, you seek, seek wisdom? wisdom? Come, Come then! I have I but, but one, one lesson, lesson to teach! teach. It, it ends with, with your death! death. Molo, I will send you back to Grethel in pieces! Well fought! You remind me of your vessel's namesake. Take this, in honor of your victory. We have one foe that challenges all Klingons from birth to death. Ourselves. Your second trial will bring that challenge to life. Fight well! Long have you craved this to end yourself. 
one final punishment for all your sins. Are you ready? Let us go to Grethor together. No. You speak the language of fear, of defeat. I deny you, spirit. I shall remain Klingon. Battle hard fought against a foe most deadly. Kavan, take the key and prepare. Your final trial awaits. A Klingon soul is measured upon death. If it is heavy with dishonor, the barge of the dead will deliver them unto Feklar at the gates of Grethor. However, if they have filled their heart with honor and glory, if they died a good death, then they will be welcomed in Stovokor. I would know if you are worthy to join me and our honored dead. And the one true way to know the measure of a Klingon soul is to meet them in battle. This shall be your final trial. Show me you have the heart of a warrior born. Show me you are worthy to walk the halls of Stovokor! To fight the unforgettable, there is no greater honor for a Klingon! If you want to defeat me, fight with your blade in hand! Song, brave Jaula. You have shown me your heart, and it is that of a true Klingon warrior. The three keys are yours. Tenavik will know what to do with them. Now go, bring glory to your house, and to the Empire! Kapla! You honor me, Kalis. We shall meet again in Stovakor, and sing songs of glory with the honored dead. Farewell. You return to us. Did you find what you were looking for? I saw Kalis. He tested me. And I was not found wanting. I was told to give these keys to you, Tanavik. Kayla said you would know their use. I do. This is unexpected, but I shall abide. Though you have passed the trials of Kailos, your guidance here is not complete. There is still more for you. Would this involve a time crystal, by chance? I would know more of your meeting with the man whose blade I carry. Was it actually him? Or some sort of hallucination? It was he. The one called the Unforgettable. I faced him in battle, and I have the bruises to prove it. There will be time to speak of Kalis later. For now. We will follow Tanavik to our next destination. This way. This is Lukara. Matriarch, an enemy fleet has arrived. It looks like Jampox. Signal is jammed. 
We can expect their troops soon. Be ready to fight. Good. Perhaps Jempak will lead them himself, and we can put an end to all this. forward lies beyond these doors. For Kalis! For the Empire! Attack! Continue through these doors. Open these doors that we may proceed. Beyond 
Beneath this door lies a breach. Upon it are three pillars. They are unlocked with the keys you earned in the trials. As I unlock the pillars, there will be three challenges. Tell me of the first challenge. You will be haunted by spirits from your past. Should they catch you, they will come forth and attack. Tell me of the second challenge. The present will do what it can to chain you in place, and the weight of time will take its toll upon your body. Tell me of the third challenge. The future can be a minefield. If you run blindly into it, you may find yourself caught in its blast. Thus, you must be wary. Trials, challenges, is everything you do so complicated, Tanavik? It has been so since the time of Kailush, General. It is our duty to honor the traditions of our ancestors. We know what we need to do. Let's get to it. We must protect Tenavik. Tenavik requires protection.
We must protect Tenovic. Tenovic requires protection. I see I can still rely on you to do the hard work, Matriarch. That I might reap the benefits. Do you want to kill him, or shall I? Tread lightly, old man. This room is filled with time crystals. The monks might be displeased if any of them came to harm. The only thing about to come to harm is you, Tachek! In a room full of time, yours is about to run out. We shall see who is out of time, traitor! more than my share of things. A typical woman, dancing when you should be fighting! Are your dancers Another battle! Tough Keck! Didn't like the way we danced. Ah! Run while you can, Machui! Pathetic! The wind does not respect a fool. Neither do I. His good fortune won't last forever. When we catch him, and we will, it is he who shall experience beach. This chamber is impressive. For a room filled with temporal weapons. An interesting perspective. In this chamber, there is a crystal. Meant for Lady Jaula alone. When used, it will show her fate. Should she continue on her current path. Not all are fated for greatness. And the truth is difficult for the mind to bear. And should you take the crystal from here, your fate sealed forever.
a warning, matriarch. The present is a veil between anticipation and horror. Lift the veil, and madness may follow. Matriarch! Lady Jaula, are you well? What did you see? What you have seen is for you alone. First I saw the end. The end of Kronos and the Empire. I then saw a matriarch of flames emerge from a pit. She held aloft the sword of Kalis. And all accepted her leadership. The houses of the Empire stood united once more. Matriarch. A fitting description of you as leader of House Mokai. Perhaps. But the sword is Martok's to wield, not mine. The fire pit seemed to be on Kronos, but I know of no such place. If it is there, it is well hidden. Such visions can mix metaphor and reality in the minds of those who witness them. And yet, I believe, I know what must be done. Yes, I would like to hear an explanation of all that as well. 
especially as the one who currently carries the Sword of Canis. Your concern is understandable. I will explain once I believe it is safe to do so. Your enemies may be preparing another attack as we speak. Come, all will be revealed soon. Sacrificed by the sons of houses great and small. I will mourn you, brother. We should keep moving. Come with me. Our destination is not far. Come. familiar to me. I think I saw it in my vision. That is probably no coincidence, my lady. Tenavik, why have you brought us here? What is this place? Some time ago, this chamber was used to create a clone of Kalish the Unforgettable. Why would you bring us here? Do you mean to make another clone of Kalis? No. The clone of Kalish served the Empire well. He was the warrior we needed then. The clone we mean to bring forth is a warrior fit for today's battles. Is that wise? Why bring a clone of another long-dead leader to life? You know the power of legend quite well, General. The weapon you carry speaks to that. Your objective is noble, but the odds against you are great. With a warrior of legend at your side, your chances for victory grow considerably. Come, we have much to do, and another attack could happen soon. First, I need you to open the cloning pit. Next, open the floodgates. Lava. Fire from my vision? Time is the fire in which we are born. Thank you. 
Everything is in place. We are prepared to begin the cloning process. Then proceed. Bring your legendary warrior back to us tonight. I look forward to meeting you. Lorel, I remember her. How proud she was to stand at my brother's side during the war with the Federation. The battle she fought to preserve his vision, no matter the cost. She was a great and powerful leader. One of the few strong enough to become Chancellor. You chose your legend well, Tanavik. I do not understand. She does not wake. Her soul is missing. The body lives, but without the soul, it remains in a state of torpor. How? How are we to find a missing soul? There are ways this could be done, my lady. Some of the great secrets known to our house border on the supernatural. I will need to conduct some research at one of our secure facilities to learn more. I am beginning to see why the people of Nimbus 3 called you a witch. Very well. If this can be done, let us do so. While we still can. We shall safeguard Lorel within this chamber while you do what must be done. Matriarch. Guard her well, Tanavik. We will return as soon as we can. Our ships are ready to beam us up at your command, my lady. Kavan, you have held the line well, I see. It was, in several ways, though there is more work to be done. I will debrief you once we have dealt with our enemies in battle. My crew tells me you fought well, a compliment not easily earned. you managed to kill another son of Nam. No matter. There will always be more. He did what I needed of him. He stalled your advance long enough for reinforcements to arrive, and for that I will honor him. Once I have killed you, of course. You and the rest of that pathetic rabble. Indeed. And I have grown weary of his vain empty threats. The time for battle has arrived. 
We have bigger things to deal with than a car. But since he has put a fleet in our way, I will be happy to destroy it, and him, before we move on. Fight well, and with honor! I'm surprised you aren't running in terror, Metria. I need that too. Come, you are far better than I. Remember what it means to be Klingon after all! We have never forgotten. Unlike Worm! One final gift, my lady. We have a problem. Our car's final gift was a new virus, custom made for the Lucara. Critical systems are failing throughout the ship, including the antimatter containment fields. Not in the time we have left. And thanks to a car, our escape pods are offline. We are unable to abandon ship. The Lucara warp core is triggered. Get out of there! I swear. 
swear it. That craven Vec will no doubt call for aid from Jimpok, and we have a great task to prepare for. We must leave this place, and soon. I believe the Matriarch has a way forward, though not without cost. She is prepared to use what she has learned. But first, there is the matter of Lorel and her missing soul. One day, Ja'ula must go to Kornos and confront Jumpok, but not today. Where she must go next, I believe that will be a strange journey indeed. I will contact you once I have completed my research. We would be honored to have you at our side for the next challenge that awaits us. Something you 